have one word for this, and it is wow. So today we are in Northern Ireland and we're doing something we have never done before. Mm -hmm. We are doing a bus tour. So we, we started in Belfast and we got tickets to go see the Giants Causeway. Mm -hmm. and there's several stops along the way. So right now we're on our first stop and this is the Carrick Fergus Castle. We're just stopping here for a few minutes to take a break. Get and some then coffee. Get some coffee yeah. and continue on our tour. Are we on the bus? Are we on the bus? After eating our lunch, we are walking to see the dark hedges. Our tour guide told us it was going to be about a 15 minute walk from the restaurant. So let's go see it. So we didn't say this in the beginning of our video, but this is the first time we've ever done a bus tour, like a guided bus tour. We have done hop on and hop off tours like in London and I think we did one in Paris. And every time we've done those tours, we feel like they're not worth it. Like we don't have enough time in each stop or we just don't use the whole day of the bus. So today we wanted to see if this was worth it, if this was worth our money and our time, especially with the kids, because I was a little worried about the kids on the bus. So we're gonna tell you at the end of the video if we think it was worth it. The Dark Hedges are well known for the famous show the Game of Thrones. We've never watched it, but even if you've never seen the show, this is such a cool thing to see. Okay, so first impression is there's a lot of people. <laughs> so if you don't like a lot of people, maybe don't come here on a tour. Maybe you need to come in the evening by yourself, but there's a lot of people. So you're probably not gonna get a picture without people in it, which sometimes bothers me because I don't want anyone in my picture, but when it's a really touristy thing, you can't help it. Our tour guy said that there used to be 150 trees, but due to pollution and vandalism and just the trees getting older, there's only 50. So I would have loved to see this with 150 trees. We saw a sign that said that the trees were planted back in 1775 and that they're beech trees. So next we stopped at the Carrick A. Reed Rope Bridge viewpoint. Supposedly this was a filming location for the Game of Thrones. Right now it's really foggy so you can kind of see it um, from the viewpoint area up here. But once the fog kind of blows away then you should be able to see it better. The last stop before we get to the Giants Causeway is the Bushmills Whiskey Distilling Company. So we don't have a lot of time here to do a tour, but you can come by and look at the visitor center. And we're gonna go see if there's a gift shop just to look at it. This is a really cool looking distillery. I wish we had time to do a tour and maybe even get to try some of the whiskey, but we just don't have the time. In the gift shop, there is a bar, so I think you can get a tasting and maybe a drink just to try. So this is definitely worth the stop if you are into whiskey. We have finally made it to the highlight of the day the Giant's Causeway. We are walking a trail that takes you to the Giant's Causeway. 
you can either ride a bus down or walk down and you can ride the bus back up. So we might walk down and then ride the bus back up because it's a steep walk we've heard. I have one word for this and it is wow. <laughs> This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I have seen this on Instagram, other friends being here and getting to see it. And I have just worked it up in my head and it is just, it is just, wow. I feel like that it is just from a scene of Star Wars or Jurassic Park. Oh, it is just something amazing. bus tour I think was a good decision so especially if you have two days uh, and you were in Belfast and I think this is a good uh, good way to spend a day so maybe use one day just to kind of explore the city and mm -hmm. then uh, use one day to take a bus tour to see all the other sites and attractions around Belfast and I think this was uh, a really cool thing to see all mm -hmm. of the uh, basalt pillars yes and oh. it just was like you're walking on stepping stones right to the ocean so that was very cool yeah it was it was amazing i mean it the whole day i had just been anticipating seeing this and we finally got to see it and it was definitely worth it so they let us they let us have about 90 minutes mm -hmm. uh, to explore the giant's causeway and so we we didn't pay for tickets to go into the museum mm -hmm. or anything we just walked straight down there um, and I feel like that was a good amount of time to actually get to walk around, take yeah. pictures, and, mm -hmm. and see it for yourself. Yeah. We ended up taking the bus back, which was very cheap. I would recommend that. It was just one mm -hmm. pound per person. So next, we're going to be spending a week traveling around Ireland and doing some camping, seeing uh, the cliffs and all of the natural landscapes. And so stay tuned for more videos about that. Thank you for watching. Bye.